Hello again everybody. This is a tutorial for Andy Field Magic's Thunder Down Under. If you have not seen his performance, do not watch my tutorial first. Click on the link, watch Andy Field Magic's performance, then come back and I'll show you how the trick is done. Okay, for this trick you're going to need a wine glass that will hold a deck of cards and it should have a stem that you could spin. In addition to that, you're going to need a silk, or as I'm going to use, cotton. And then you're going to need to create some gimmick cards. So we're going to take the four aces, and then you're going to need duplicate nine of hearts and duplicate nine of clubs. Using my favorite scotch double stick tape, I'm going to take the two nines and create a gimmick card, which will be a double face nine with a nine of hearts and a nine of clubs. Put them together, there we have a nine of hearts, nine of clubs, and leave these two the way they are. Then we're going to take two more pieces and put the two black aces together. A little piece of tape up here, down here, and put the black aces together. Now, you can use glue if you want, but glue will ruin the cards. But this effect is so powerful it might be worthwhile ruining a couple of cards. Then you take the two red aces, and you're going to stick the two red aces together, line them up perfectly, and there you go. So now you have your gimmick cards all set. So the setup for the trick, Andy has the eight of spades on the front. The setup for the trick is you're going to take the real nine of clubs and put it face up. Then on top of that, you're going to have the double-sided ace with the ace of clubs face up. Then on top of that, you're going to use the double-sided nine with the nine of hearts face up then the ace of hearts face up, then the nine of hearts face down, and you're ready to begin. So you have your silk and your glass, and you tell the spectator that you're not going to be able to touch the cards. You take the deck out, show that you're using a deck, and you put the cards back in. Now, you say you're going to take one card and you pull the nine from the back and put it in the front. Now I'm working on a really bad angle for this, so You'll have to excuse me. What you're then going to do is you're going to put the silk in front or the cotton or the handkerchief in front. And what you want to do when it's in front, and I'll do this on a side angle, is you want to twist so that it's in the exact same position. So that when you're looking at the nine, when this goes in front and then he pulls it right off, it's in the same position. So you have the nine there, put it on and pull it right off. And then there's the first ace. Then what you do is when you pull the ace off, there's the nine of hearts again. You slide the ace to the back, and now the ace of diamonds will be there. So people will be amazed because they're looking at the nine of hearts. It'll look like the ace just came down from nowhere. Then you take the silk again, cover it, and as it's covered, you twist it around so that it's in the same exact position. Now you're all set up to pull the back card and show that you have a black card and you want to see if you can create the black aces to show up. So now you're set up just like that. So all you need to do is once again, when you put the silk in front, you want to twist it and get it from this position to this, from this position to this position, just like that, nice and quickly. So while it's covered, you twist it and pull it right off. Also, you can cover it and you can snap it right off. So again, I'm in a tough angle over here to do this. Then what you want to do is take this off, and people will now see the nine of clubs again. So that'll also be impressive. And now you're sliding the ace of spades back here. And for the final ace, you're going to take it one more time, cover it up, and you're going to twist it. And there's the ace of spades. And that's it. It's a really cool trick. I believe this is an old trick. It's very effective. I really like it. Thank you, Andy. That's it. See you next time.